What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be playing with Beauty Bakery makeup. I'm super excited to be finally filming this video. Beauty Bakery is a brand that's like kind of flying under the radar lately. They're not like super, super, super well known, but Ulta did start carrying their products in stores late last fall, I believe. I kind of want to branch out a little bit and test out some different products from other brands that aren't as mainstream. So I thought this was a perfect opportunity for me to sit down and give you some of my first impressions. I don't have every single product that the brand makes, but I have a lot of face products. I have foundation, concealer, setting powder, sponges, highlight, concealer, and I do have a lip product. I didn't purchase any of the palettes just because I could not get my hands on them. They were sold out online. And then the Ulta that I go to, I actually found one that does sell Beauty Bakery in store, but they had the tiniest display and all they had was like three setting powders left and one broken palette. So I scrounged up what I could. Some of this stuff I did purchase from Ulta and then some of this stuff I did get from the Beauty Bakery website itself. So if you are interested in seeing me play with some new makeup, then let's get into it. So before we get started, I kind of just want to talk a little bit about the brand itself. So Beauty Bakery is owned by an African American woman. And the really cool thing about Beauty Bakery is that they have a great range of shades in all of their products and they have very, very unique packaging. And some people think it's kind of gimmicky. I personally think it's the cutest thing ever. For instance, all of their stuff is obviously like cake, bakery, that kind of thing themed. So like the first product I have to try are these blending sponges. And these are called blending eggs and they're for baked beauties and cute chicks. And literally the nutrition facts on the back is like the directions for the sponge. And it says great when used wet, complexion smoothing, get those hard to reach areas, durable, reusable, eco-friendly. So it's literally like an egg carton. I think this is a 10 out of 10 packaging. It's so unique, it's so cute. And no one's really done anything like this before. So for six of these blending eggs, I only have five in here because I do have one wet already and ready to go. So for six of these beauty blender blending sponges, beauty eggs, it's $18, which is actually a really, really great deal. Come to think of it, it's sold as half a dozen. Um, so it's really, really cute. They do have an option for black sponges, but I opted to get the teal and pink. And the foam or the sponge on these is actually really, really soft. They are a little bit thicker or more dense, not as bouncy as a beauty blender, but the material itself is really, really soft. This almost reminds me of like, if you're familiar with the Black Beauty Blender Pro, I would say that's kind of the feeling this has. It's definitely more dense. And just for comparison, this is the wet one and this is the dry one. So they do expand quite a bit and they do get a little bit softer once you do wet them. First thing I have to try, besides obviously the beauty sponges, is this Beauty Bakery Baking Oil. So this is perfect for all skin types. Our vegan baking oil will leave your complexion hydrated and glowing. So the baking tips, it says gently massage two to three drops on the clean skin, allow the baking oil to absorb into skin before applying makeup. You get 0.3 ounces for $28. It has, this reminds me of some of the Tarte products, the packaging, it's a dropper, but it's like a button that you just push. Um, packaging, again, super, super cute. And I did do a little bit of research regarding the foundation that I have here to try. And it says, that if you have dry skin or like normal combo, you definitely need this oil because this is a very, very matte foundation. So we are going to start with this as our primer today. It said two to three. I'm gonna go in with three, two, three. And I'm just applying this to clean skin. I am freshly cleansed and I do have a light moisturizer on already. So the texture of this isn't particularly thick. It's just like a normal oil. It almost reminds me a little bit of like the Farsali rose gold one, I think it is, that I normally use. Um, it smells a little bit citrusy. It doesn't have a super strong scent, nothing too out of the ordinary there. It just, it feels, it feels like a nice oil. I usually go for something a little bit more pore filling or not silicone-y, but something that kind of smooths everything out in addition to a more matte finish. 
Um, but we will see how this goes. So now I'm gonna go in with a Beauty Bakery Cake Mix Demi Matte Foundation. So this is a vegan, long-lasting, non-acidogenic formula. So one thing I forgot to mention that's really, really cool about Beauty Bakery is that they are vegan and cruelty-free. So if you're looking to switch to makeup or choose products that are a little bit more conscientious of animal testing, the environment, that kind of thing. These may be a good option for you. Um, they are paraben free as well. So this, the packaging is so, so cute. I mean, look at that. It's so adorable. So it's a medium to full coverage demi matte foundation infused with vitamin E. It's oil free and lightweight. It says it's smudge free and it says if your skin is dry, prep your face with the wake and bake baking oil, which I've done. So you're supposed to shake the bottle before you cake, apply a few drops to the center of your face and blend outwards. Gently tap in the foundation, stippling to avoid no sweet streaks. Okay, cool. So this foundation is one ounce, which is like your typical foundation, and it also costs $28. So it's actually pretty inexpensive for a foundation that's not drugstore. I find a lot of high-end foundations usually range between $40 and $60, so this is a more inexpensive alternative for sure. So I'm just shaking this up. There was a little bit of separation in the bottle, but nothing too crazy. Everything looks like it's blended together really well now. And I have the shade 46 seven here. I'm going to go in with three pumps because you know I love foundation and I'm just dotting this all over the place. I know it says to start in the center of your face but I find that this usually goes much quicker. So taking the sponge I'm just going to do exactly what it says and begin stippling this. So I think the shade match for me is really really good. I'm seeing very light coverage. This to me is light to medium coverage. This does not feel like full coverage whatsoever and I'm finding that you have to work very, very quickly because it dries and it doesn't really blend after that. I'm having a really hard time on my nose here. I don't know if you can see. It's breaking up really, really badly. Um, and the more I try and blend it, it's just picking up the product and moving it. The color I think is perfect for me. I really, really like this shade match, but this foundation is not blending for me. And this is not full coverage in my opinion. I still see all of my freckles, all of my redness here. There is absolutely nothing on my nose. I don't know if you can see that. It's not covering anything and the more I try and go over it the more it just removes it and it's really really breaking up really badly I am not liking this product at all this is kind of bad this isn't covering anything um oh my god this is so bad I wonder if it's the sponge I'm gonna go in with just a regular beauty blender to see if it's the sponge that's picking up all the product Yeah, that sponge is not that great. I do not like this foundation, but this beauty blender is making a huge difference. Oh my God. Can you see that? All right, I, as of right now, am not impressed with this foundation at all. This to me is a major fail. I don't, I don't care for this. I did manage to get it somewhat smoothed out and a little bit blended. Like here you can see, I have a kind of dry patch right here and it's just clinging so badly right there. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna leave this on. So I do have the Beauty Bakery Cake Face Concealer in the shade don't give a frappe. So it says this creamy full coverage concealer is waterproof matte finish with all day wear. So I am not going to use this sponge anymore. I don't, I don't like it. I don't know what's going on. It's either the foundation or the sponge. The combination of both was just terrible. So I'm going to keep on with my beauty blender. And now I'm just going to apply this doesn't really have a scent. <laughs> 
I'm that weird person that smells makeup, I know. And I'm also going to highlight, I wanna see how this sits on the foundation on top of my dry patches. It's a thin consistency. Um, I would compare it to like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So let's see how, oh my God. <laughs> do you see how bad this is oxidizing? Oh my God, do you see how bad this is oxidizing? Look, it's literally disappeared on my forehead. This oxidizes so badly. Oh my God. And I'm trying to blend this into my skin and it's just, it's, it's not blending. I don't know if it's the foundation or the concealer. <laughs> oh my God, what is going on? Okay. Um, I'm going to take this off. I... I really tried, I really tried to like it, but the fact that my concealer isn't blending in, my foundation is a disaster to begin with, and then that whole situation was just horrendous. I gotta, I gotta take this off. This, this is not working for me. All right, you guys, I put on a fresh base because that was just a tragic situation. Let's move on. So I have the oat flower setting powder this packaging is so cute again it comes in like a little flower sack i think it's adorable and it says that it can be applied using a brush you can just lightly dust it over your entire face for a full matte look or with gentle pressure use a makeup sponge to apply the flower to your t-zone to absorb excess oil so i'm assuming that means you can bake with it as well so this retails for 24 dollars, which for a setting powder really isn't horrible i'm just opening this guy up oh this is so much smaller than i thought it was gonna be hmm okay so i have mine in the shade translucent so this is kind of weird on the website it looks completely different it's like a gold lid i don't really know what that's about um but whatever it comes in four shades it comes in yellow translucent and then it comes in pink and it comes in brown which is really nice you have a few shade options there like i said these products do come in a really, really great shade range. So I failed to mention this before, but the foundation does come in 30 shades. That's super awesome. And there's a range of skin tones, really, really great. And then the concealer comes in eight shades, not as much as a variety there, but you will still be able to find something that works for you. I'm just gonna dump a little bit in the lid and I'm actually going to bake with this or like kind of half bake because that's how I normally do my makeup. Um, I'm just gonna smooth out my concealer, make sure there's no creases and then I'm just going to dunk in here. And I'm just gonna set the T-zone like I normally would. And that's actually all I'm gonna set. I'm not gonna set the rest of my face. I do like that. Yeah, this powder, I, I like this. <laughs> Oh, thank God. I was, I was, I was getting so nervous there that I wasn't going to like anything, but this I think is a really great product. I think this did a really good job of just blurring everything out. I look really, really smooth. I definitely will use this again. So the next product I have to test out is this Beauty Bakery Illuminator So Icy. So this guy is $16 and it is a loose highlight and it's 0.18 ounces. I have mine in the shade Iced, which is kind of like a champagne -y vanilla shade. I just thought it would look best with my skin tone. They do have three other shades, and then they do have a highlight palette as well. So it says, our light diffusing highlighting illuminator impacts an iridescent glow on any part of the body. Lightly dust on your cheeks or brow. This is really cute. It looks like a little icing container. So I don't know how I feel about the packaging for this. I feel like this can be kind of a mess. This whole thing is cardboard and so is the lid. It's actually kind of like a rose gold peachy glow, which it's really, really pretty. Can you see it right there? It looks really, really pretty. It is a really shimmery highlight, um, but the shimmers are really, really small. So I'm optimistic for that. I'm just gonna take whatever's remaining in the lid, starting with a super small amount. And I'm just gonna take this on a Morphe M510 brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to highlight. And I'm just going to apply. This color is really pretty. So this, is really really pretty 
not what I would normally go for. I'm not going to lie. This is a lot less like in your face than I would normally opt for. But this color on my skin tone, this like peachy pink champagne color, and it just gives you like such a natural looking like glow. This highlight is... I really like it. And this is something I would normally never go for. A, it's a loose highlight. B, it's, I mean, the color, I have a few this color, so I'm not gonna say I wouldn't go for the color. But the amount of glowiness is something that I normally wouldn't go for because I think it's more natural. I mean, for the average person, this probably is not a natural highlight. But for me, I feel like this is just such a pretty, healthy glow. Yeah, this, okay, I really, really like this unexpectedly. I was not thinking that I was going to like this at all, but it's just such a pretty natural glow. I love this with really, really light makeup. I think this is going to be great for, like, no makeup makeup days when I don't want, like, that wet blinding highlight, but I still want to look, like, really healthy and glowy and... I really like this guy. So moving on to our last product, we have the Beauty Bakery Liquid Matte Lipstick. This is a lip whip, and it says it's smudge-free, cruelty-free, vegan-friendly, paraben-free. So Ginger Snap is this like reddish brown color. So these are obviously a matte liquid lipstick. They do come in 24 shades, and they are $20 a piece. And it says that you should exfoliate your lips with their sugar lip scrub, which I did not get. And you use the doe foot for a seamless application. Wait 60 to 75 seconds between layers. For max benefit, they recommend no more than three layers. I assume that's because it might ball up and get a little chunky. That's very standard for any liquid lip. And it says the lip whips are best worn alone and not in conjunction with any other product. So no lip liner. So I've wiped all the foundation off my lips so that we have a clean slate. They are pretty well exfoliated and conditioned, but I have no product remaining on them because I don't want to mess with the integrity of the lip color. So this is what the doe foot applicator looks like. It kind of reminds me of those L'Oreal applicators. It does have that hole in the center that holds product so you don't have to keep dipping in multiple times. Oh, that's opaque. This color is so pretty. Once this dries down, this dries down. It's completely matte. And you actually can't see like the lines and the cracks and like the divots in my lips, which is really nice. I hate that when you can just like see how like crusty and like blech your lips look. This may be one of like the most comfortable liquid lips I've put on my face like in my entire life. Why did it take me so long to try this? I'm amazed. Literally, nothing coming off, not a damn thing. All right, you guys, that is it. That is everything in front of me tested in all of my first impressions. I was really nervous there. I thought this video was going downhill very, very, very quickly, but we pulled it out in the end. I think we found some really, really great winners. If you have tried anything from this brand or if you have any recommendations, if you think I'm doing something wrong, if I need to try something else, let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing your guys' feedback and thoughts. I'm always open to testing new makeup. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you so, so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Can't stop.